Hi old folks, this is Max from uh, um, HighOnAndroid.com and uh, GalaxyS2Root.com So today I'm going to show you how to use Mobile Odin Lite um, to restore, unroot your uh, phone back to completely back to official uh, AT&T ICS um, This one doesn't require a, a computer and will also reset um, your counter You can check it uh, by plugging a USB cable to your computer Hold down volume down, volume up, and the power button for 10 seconds. It will show you the binary count. Um, with the Odin method, you're not going to be able to erase it. But with this method, you will be able to. So I'm going to step you through here. Um, you'll see that custom says six counts. We're going to reset all this. So go ahead and hold down the power to reset your phone again. And uh, to do this, you'll need a rooted phone, though. Um, so make sure you're rooted. Um, and that's all that's required. Uh, you'll have to download um, basically the Triangle Away app. I'll have links where you can get that. The Odin Lite program and also you'll need the uh, Odin uh, i777 add-on um, to be able to flash using mobile Odin. Those three files and also the official TAR file uh, for AT&T uh, UCLE5 uh, TAR file. I'll have those um, the four files that you'll need and I'll also show you here using file manager real quick um, I already copied these over to my phone so all of these programs you need um, are mobile Odin flash kernel that one um, i77 1.0 apk mobile Odin light 2.45 and also um, triangle away that one um, actually I didn't install this let me install it and uh, let's do the triangle away first Let's use the triangle way, hit allow, and uh, we're going to go erase um, the triangle way app. So that's installed. Um, install both of these. Both I already installed it, um, so I'm going to cancel and also install that. All right, install those three. Oh, and I forgot to show you the other file. Is um, you will need to copy over the. Where is it? Oh. The galaxy s2 root.com uh, slash blah blah. Yeah, I wish I would, there's a better view. Um, anyway, just copy that those four files I'll have below. That's the, the fo file ending in tar dot tar and also starts with galaxy s2 root.com. So it's easy for you to remember. Um, so you have those programs installed. First thing you'll do is get rid of the triangle away. All right. Um, all right. It says counter six. And let's reset um, counter. Uh oh. All right, hold on. There we go. Sorry, my computer just had a BCD, one of those. Um, so I'm gonna have to do this manually here. Um, so go ahead and uh, reset flash counter. Continue. Um, it says it's been reset and run it again. And it'll say zero official. I'm not going to reboot into it. Um, so next, let's go run the uh, mobile Odin. So I'm going to go ahead and run mobile Odin light here. And you should get all this. Make sure you install both of them, otherwise you won't get the option. If you go down here, you can open file. Go ahead and open file. Um, whoa. Internal SD card or external. I put it in my download folder, that file I was talking about. Where is it? Oh. It's weird. Hmm. Hold on. Oh, it seems like the Triangle Away app kind of messed with my SD card. So let me just restart real quick and redo it. It's not reading my SD card, but it should read it. Um, it's probably this um, thing. So I'll be back when this is done. Sorry, folks, you have to actually unzip that file, the galaxyS2root.com underscore sghi77 underscore ucle5. If you unzip it, you'll get this tar.md5 file. So that's what I was talking about. Sorry if I messed you up. Um, but I'll have the files there. Um, you have to unzip it and then copy over. Um, anyway, let's go back to Mobile Odin Lite here. Um, now we should be able to easily open it. Um, open file. Choose uh, internal, ex external, where you, wherever you put that file. Go to downloads. Now I can choose the uh, official AT&T um, tar file, tar.md5 file. Um, it will set it automatically for you. Set it OK. And make sure you have enough battery uh, when you do this. 
and uh, make sure you don't enable Everroot if you have the pro version um, and also that's, that's pretty much done and let's flash firmware and uh, continue and uh, uh, make sure you check for MD5 because it's kind of serious. Um, you know, make sure you have enough battery, more than 50% like that. And this will basically, uh, what we're doing is using mobile Odin because when you use Odin um, with your computer, it's going to increase the flash count. But this one won't, so it'll get you back completely back to complete ICS stock ROM for AT&T. No trace of uh, whatsoever. Um, from AT&T. They cannot tell that we flashed anything here. So there's the mobile loading uh, flashing stuff here. Um, this is an awesome tool by the way and Chainfire, this is by Chainfire and Chainfire is one of the aw most awesome developers out there. Um, he's been really working on the Samsung stuff. Uh, I'm glad he's working on the Samsung stuff. He was working on like ACC stuff. Um, we probably would have a mobile recovery by chain file for all HTC devices but um good thing he's on Samsung anyway it's gonna um, anyway uh, um Samsung has all of the best developers they've got uh Cyanogen mods um founder I forgot the guy's name but anyway he he's working for Samsung now Chainfire isn't working for Samsung but he's developing all these cool tools he's making a killing making all these open source tools probably just in donations he's make probably makes millions <laughs> no probably not millions but um probably pretty good um anyway just wanted to say that uh so it's gonna keep flashing i'm gonna leave the camera on here and uh we should have a completely totally stock um ICS here but i would only use this method um if you're gonna actually return it for warranty uh, for everything else, you can just use Odin, which is quicker. Also, if you don't have Windows, then you can use this. Yeah, no problem. There you go. And it's done. And uh, we should have a completely stock um, AT&T Galaxy S2 here. And it's going to do its thing here. And boom, we should be all good to go. Mm -mm -mm. There you go. Um, so now it's completely stopped. Now the next step you have to do is probably, um, I'm not sure if this will actually erase all your apps and personal settings, but you can do a fact, uh, factory reset and stock recovery. And also the contents of your internal storage and SD card will still be there, like your photos and videos. Make sure you use, um, you know, make sure you back it up or whatever, get rid of it before you return it for warranty. Um, but my my phone is completely stock now. It sucks. Um, I'm gonna give it a second here. Okay, it's upgrading. Yeah, it didn't get rid of all my apps and stuff. But we'll go do that real quick here. I'm not gonna even boot up. Let me show you how to do a factory reset so you can reset it all the way. Um, make sure you have the uh, micro USB cable off. Volume up, volume down, and the power button. And uh, hold it down until you see the stock recovery. And we'll do a factory reset, reboot, and uh, let it sit for a little bit. There we go. Um, go down to factory, wipe data factory reset, hit the power button say yes and uh, reboot that's it reboot system now oh and also let's actually check the account real quick you can plug in any USB cable uh, volume up, volume down and power and let's go see our account real quick and then we'll reboot just to show you that no one can tell we've actually, actually I've rooted this phone like probably like a hundred times um, there you go. Samsung official, none. Uh, zip, gone. So that's done. Uh, reboots. So there you go. Get it completely back to stock. Um, and I'll be back when this boots up. Hi, right, folks. So I'm completely back to stock here. Um, booted up. 
going to start over, start my life over here. My phone. Um, there you go. So that's how you get uh, completely back to stock. Um, and I'm back on um, about that one. Four that zero three three. UCLE 5, so um, that's how you unroot completely back to stock. This is only if you're going to return it for a warranty, I think. Um, but that's how you do it. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching my video. If you like this video, um, please subscribe to my email list at galaxys2root.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the Week. And also, it's a great way for you to get in contact with me if you have trouble with your phone. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button. It helps me greatly. Subscribe button up here if you have. Thanks a lot. And use that share button to share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. Anyway, stay high on Android, folks. I've got more cool stuff coming. Um, getting tired. Uh, just don't buy an iPhone.